Hey everybody, Andy here, AK Montolio, and we are back for round six of the Vintage Challenge. And once again, remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are enjoying this, guys. We run into Dark Matter Gun, and unfortunately this is a combo shops player. This could be a tough match for us, uh, as they do run main deck lane line, but let's see what we can do. Now... This is an unfortunate part about playing against these decks is that we actually are going to tell our opponent what we're playing. Which can be a little bit rough on us. But we've, this is a really nice 7. I mean, if they mulligan towards ley line, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, they just had it in their opener. Um, which is a little awkward if we get wastelanded here, but I, I think that's just the world we're living in. Um, probably can get rid of Mental Misstep here. I, I guess there's a world where they have a Sol Ring, but probably not that big of a deal. Okay, this is pretty tough because I really do want to keep a green spell for force of vigor and i also would like to keep that wasteland but i just can't do it all right that's the problem here i think that there's a reasonable chance that i'm going to find another green spell here so i think i'm just going to pitch noxious revival here and we're going to try and lean on force of will this turn and uh, hopefully our hollow one can just get us there. Like if they wasteland here, I mean that's not the the end all be all for us. Okay, ancient tomb. Oh, that's good for us. Um, I don't feel like we want to. Uh, Wasteland here. I'm going to let them play their workshop here and cast a Golos. I will force it and then waste them. Getting their better land. Maybe they're going to try and attempt to cast a Helm. And also we get two damage out of it because of their Ancient Tomb if they do that. So we're currently three and two. Uh, unfortunately, we started out three and zero, oh, and we lost our last two matches: one to Doomsday and another one to Golo Shops. Um, neither of those matches were really close. Uh, they involved me mulliganing uh, down to very low numbers in both matches, and uh, in addition to that, getting wastelanded out, um, which was which was pretty brutal. Um, how important is this to fight? Um, I don't really feel like it's that important. Um, I think there's a reasonable chance that I'm going to find Force of Vigor. My, my concern here is if they name Pithing Needle, but I don't really care, or uh, Wasteland. But I don't think I really care about that. So I think this is probably fine. I mean, this, it could be a mistake to let this resolve, but I, I feel like I need to fight over um, some different cards. Like, uh, you know, I, I'm going to need to... Basically, I'm just jamming damage at this point, and that, that is our route. He, they did go for Wasteland. Okay. So I think that's good, because we still have our Bazaar here. And we are going to be able to find a green spell with our Bazaar at some point here. Okay, double tomb. So they've got the Mirage Mirror. Um, I think this is okay. I think I have to force this. I almost let it resolve. I just, the, my fear is, is that they can turn it into a land or something like that, and that's not ideal. OK. 
Okay. I think we bizarre here. So the, the, the bad news is, is that if they go and they get like if they jam Golos here, right? I'm gonna put them down to six, and then that puts them down to two with the double ancient tomb to cast a Golos next turn. I can only pay for one of my creatures if they have the Golos in hand. I feel like I need to keep the Force of Vigor. Also digging for Gaia's Cradle there. I mean, Cradle would have been so, so good. Because that way we can play around Tabernacle, but um, it is what it is. I mean, my opponent's in a difficult spot. If they don't have the Golos, like if they play, uh, I don't know, Mishra's Workshop here into Golos to get a Tabernacle, oh, Lotus was a really nice draw there. Yuck. They just have Helm. They do have Helm. Shit. Alright, they got us. That's disappointing. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with my first Wasteland, like when I had an opportunity to do it. Alright, well, I mean, what can I say? This is not ideal. I feel like these have very limited functionality. Don't mind. Um, don't mind Caracas. I could see cutting a couple stone coils here. Leyline is just really not good for us. I don't think I want extra Caracas. Oops. Almost submitted with mis misdirection there. Um, I guess we can do something like this. Oh, a little bit unfortunate we missed on that, uh, finding a, a green source for that uh, Force of Vigor. I thought we, I mean, our opponent played it well in the sense that they, they hid those cards from us. The, uh, the Lotus and um, was just able to go off. Okay. See how we do here. Seems good if they don't have a ley line. Uh, I'd be interested to see how aggressive my opponent is in going to look for, for ley line of the void. These decks, I mean, they have multiple avenues to hurt us. They've got spy glasses, they've got. Uh, the ley lines, um, tabernacles, so wastelands.
So we need this to be a good tur a turn for us here. I mean, I'm happy to have the hollow one. At least we, we are going to be able to apply some more pressure. We've got a wasteland to follow it up. It'd be just really nice to be able to recur our squeeze. Um, okay, I don't see a ley line here. So that's good news. We need a bazaar or a... Okay, didn't find one. Um... I'm going to just be greedy here. I mean, we've got to try and win, right? And if they just slam a tabernacle or something, turn one, then there's not much we can do about it. Soaring, okay. This could be a turn one Golos. That's rough on us if it is. There's a Sega. Interesting. Okay. It's just a mirror. I mean, mirror is a sphere. Okay. All right. We got a second. We got to use our bizarre force of vigor. That was really nice. Sadly, we bricked actually pretty damn good here. I feel like I gotta take that Urza Sega away. And hopefully we get a chance to use our, our Force of Vigor here. Our um, next turn. What do they got? This is a Golos. Golos is really bad if they do. Sucks Helm, okay. All right, we got a chance here, guys. I'm actually going to play the cradle here. Do I want to play the cradle? I think I do. Because if I hit something like Root Wallace here, Oh boy. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the squeeze. Three, we're one short. All right, can't do anything else. But what I can do is I can strand both of their mocks and their Sol Ring. Yeah, all right, use my helm. This is gonna put them to four. I think I just kill their their stuff here. Yeah, you can use your helm. See what you find. Nothing. Okay. How the, how do you like that squee and uh, library tech there? Next turn, if they like, if they wastelanded us here, and I don't know, 
somehow dropped an ensnaring bridge or something like that, we could be drawing a card every turn. That felt really good. Okay, so look, we're in this. We are in this. I feel like Chalice is not very good on the draw. And what would we want? I feel like just having an extra land here is pretty good. All right, let's take it in here. So I think there's a number of things, as I mentioned, their last game that uh, could go wrong here. But hopefully we we don't get spy last and hopefully they don't have a, a broken turn one play. Like hopefully we're able to disrupt it and then uh, go off during our turn. Excuse me. But I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I don't feel favored here being on the draw. All right. So this is a hand that needs to avoid Ley Line of the Void. Um, and if it does, it could be all right. But I'm pretty nervous about keeping it, to be honest with you. Like, we don't have any interaction here on turn one. Like, if they just drop something like a Spyglass, it could be really rough on us. But, you know, like, can we actually powder this away, though? I don't think so. I mean, maybe we do. Like, what, what is the opponent likely to do here? I mean, we'll see if they mulligan, first of all. I think there's a reasonable chance that they're looking for Leyline in their opener, and this is a really poor hand if that's the case. I just really feel like this is just a, a very hard for me to mulligan this hand. Um, Bizarre just does so much to be able to reshape your hand, uh, you know, if we're given the opportunity to do it. So what's the worst case scenario here? They play a ley line and they drop a spy glass on me. Like we're in a substantial amount of trouble if that's the case. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, there's the ley line. Okay. We do have... Um, is this a spyglass? So they maybe have a mirror. I think this is a, I mean, this is a very big decision here. If I wasteland them, I still have no interaction, but I maybe stifled them from casting their mirror. If they do have mirror and they're able to cast it next turn, I, I mean, it mightn't be the worst. I mean, it gives us a turn to find a Force of Vigor. Or a blue... I guess Force doesn't do anything.
Against my better judgment, I am going to wasteland them here. My hope is is that they're fainting weakness, like they or that they they just don't have anything else. That's my hope. This is a gambit doing this for sure. I could get punished severely for doing this, but um, oh, they did have another tomb. Okay, so if this is the mirror, oh, nothing. Okay. All right, there is a blue spell. So we are kind of all in here on finding something good. Those are definitely good. So this is not very good. And I think ditching a Vengevine makes sense here. I could get rid of serum powder but i actually think serum powder might I, I might actually cast that at some point maybe that's just bad i think that's bad okay let's get some pressure going here we, we did find a force of will, which is great news for us. Another tomb. Okay, those tombs could definitely add up. So they found the helm. And we thankfully found a force of will here. We are going to need some help. Let's see what we can find here, guys. We did not find anything, unfortunately. Oh, boy. question is, do I want to do something like put ancient, ancient Tomb back on top of their library? The question is, do they have it? Do they have anything? I think I do put Ancient Tomb on top of their library. Um, And we'll see if that kills me or it helps me or, I mean, I feel like giving them the, the ancient tomb back here is uh, not likely to help them a whole lot. We, we do die to another helm if they have it. They got the dark depths. Okay. Do they have a mirror? And snaring bridge. Okay. Well, I can get through for a damage. Squee does not help. A lot of things can kill us here now, unfortunately. Kind of are in a spot where we're going to need to find a wasteland. We know they have an ancient tomb. Okay, that's in play. Bizarre. Um, I do think we bizarre here. Um, hollow one does not really help much here. I'm going to keep the bazaar. Like we're, we're actively looking for a force of vigor here. 
I guess one of the reasons to actually play it out, the hollow one, if, if we had kept it, was to try and build up to Gaia's Cradle mana for, for Force of Vigor. Like, we are chipping away here at them. And they can't really cast anything. So even basking root wallas and stuff could, could be helpful here. We basically want to get them in a spot where they can't use those tombs. And hopefully they just get stuck with cards in their hand. Maybe I wanted to play that bazaar and start going after Root Wallace. I think I'm going to do that next turn. Hopefully we draw, I mean, unless I get something like a Force of Vigor. Maybe the Root Wallace are just the way to go. We have not seen any of our eight, and we would be churning four or five cards a turn. Maybe that's just the way to go. Maybe that's a better line than trying to build up mass to find uh, Force of Vigor. Let's see what they do here. Our opponent's taking a, an awful long pause here. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about this, oh, let's see if they wasteland me here. That would be so amazing if they got my bazaar here. It is. Okay. Strip mine. I think playing a strip mine is just playing straight better here. Don't feel like I need to do anything here. What would be really bad is if they found something like an Orborg. Okay, do they go after my uh, my cradle? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I think I. Th Maybe I do just start going after Root Wallace. I'm not sure if there's some weird setting my opponent has here. Like it's, it seems to be lagging every turn. I think I am going to be aggressive here and go after Root Wallas. I mean, we'll see what our opponent does. A second Dark Depths. Okay. That was weird. Well, they had to do it. There's a Root Walla. going to do it in the upkeep as well. There's another root walla. Well, ancient tomb is now shut off. They cannot use it and I have lethal damage on the table here. So, um, that's pretty good. I got a chance here.
All right, we got there. I, I really felt like that was a good win for us. We, we had to fight through a lot of different hate. We had some very difficult decision lines that we needed to make. And, you know, I liked our, our aggressive line of going to find the root wallas. And as a matter of fact, the root wallas ended up winning us that game. Um, you know, we made the decision to cast a 1-1 stone coil and uh, it felt bad at the time, but it ended up also helping us win this game. So I think that was a really good win for us in a tough matchup. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, we're sitting in 11th place right now and we're kind of sweating our breakers here. Um, good news is uh, I think our uh, one of our last Discover N was uh, 6-0, and um, uh, hopefully their breakers will help us get in. Once again, if you're enjoying the videos, guys, please hit the like and subscribe button.